so now we will be doing the analytical treatment or analytics that is the conditions for constructive and destructive interference we will be needing a small schematic diagram that goes like this this is the midpoint and this is the main source from here and from here another source that is point B P is B O is become A B and S the main source so if Y1 and Y2 are the displacements of the two interfering waves coming from the two coherent sources so y1 be the displacement of this and y2 that is displacement of this so since they are in shm we can write y1 as equal to a sine omega t and y2 equal to a sine omega t plus delta delta is the phase difference at the point p for the two coherent sources a and b that is this one so we have y equal to that is by the superposition principle the resultant displacement at p will be we are considering as y that will be y1 plus y2 so y must be equal to a into 1 plus cos delta sin omega t plus a sin delta cos omega t so if we let a into 1 plus cos delta equal to capital a cos theta and a into sin delta equal to a sin theta then we will be getting this long equation that is y equal to a cos of theta into sin omega t plus a sin theta cos omega t that will be equal to a sin of omega t plus theta so this will be the final equation hence the resultant displacement at point p is a simple harmonic wave of amplitude a the amplitude a can be obtained by squaring and adding equations these two equations if we square and add these two equations let it be equation 1 and equation 2 so we will be getting a square if we square and add we will be getting a square equal to a square into 1 plus cos delta into whole square plus a square sine square delta if we solve this we will be getting a square into 1 plus 2 cos delta plus cos square delta plus a square into sine square delta again if you solve this we will be getting a square plus 2a square cos delta plus a square cos square delta plus a square sine square delta that is equal to 2a square plus 2a square cos delta that must be equal to 2a square into 1 plus cos delta so that will be equal to 2a square into 2 cos square delta by 2 equal to 4a square cos square delta by so mark this as equation number 3 which will be used later on.
so the intensity of light is proportional to the square of amplitude of the wave for the sake of simplicity here we assume that the intensity of light is equal to the square of amplitude so the intensity i at p due to these superimposed waves must be equal to i if we consider it as i it will be equal to a square so that will be equal to 4 a square cos square delta by 2 so this is an important equation worth noting down so now we will further move on to the constructive and destructive conditions for interference pattern so friends now we have this equation and from this equation we can derive the conditions for constructive and destructive interference so number one is constructive so for constructive interference the intensity of light at p will be maximum so when it will be maximum when the value of cos square delta by 2 will be equal to 1 or cos delta by 2 equal to 1 if we transfer this in this side of the equal to so it is possible only when only when delta equal to 2 n pi we know from trigonometry where n equal to 0 1 2 up to n so delta equal to 0 2 pi 4 pi dot 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 therefore in terms of path difference the condition is x equal to 2 n lambda by 2 so this will be the path difference for constructive interference this is occurring since delta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into x from this formula hence i equal to the value of i will be equal to 4 a square therefore for constructive interference that is maximum intensity the phase difference is an even integral you can see the phase difference is an even integral of pi or the path difference is an even integral of lambda by 2 so the phase difference will be even integral of pi remember these two formula for constructive interference now number two comes destructive interference so for destructive interference what must be the condition the value of cos delta by 2 must be equal to 0 so this is possible only when delta equal to 2n plus 1 pi where n must be equal to 0 1 2 dot 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 so delta equal to pi 3 pi 5 pi hence goes so in terms of path difference we are getting x equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 because of this formula so again we are getting two important formulas for the destructive interference hence for the destructive interference that is of minimum intensity the phase difference is an odd integral multiple of pi that is this one and the part difference is a non integral multiple of lambda by 2 so these four formulas these two are for path difference and these two are for phase difference these four formulas are to be remembered very hard by heart for examination point of view so that's all for this video in the next video we will be doing the further 
of this chapter that is the energy conservation concept and then we will go into Newton's rate.